is going to be a brief user experience demo showing the new web client. This is the beta version of the release candidate, but it should be representative of what you'll experience in the release. So if I log into the web client, and this is just a stock vCenter 6 install. See, it's already loaded the sign in. And let me log in using the administrator. So I don't have anything really configured on this thing yet. I'll log in. Pretty decent speed, nothing earth shattering, but I like it. You notice the taskbar is on the bottom now, which is really nice. And I don't have any licensing on this, so we'll dismiss that. And you can expand or contract the size of the taskbar or change it from your tasks to everyone's tasks, which is default for the vSphere client. <clears throat> Additionally, the menus just load super fast. If I hover over the home screen here, I can go to any menu I want so we can look at the virtual machines in the environment. And you see it just built everything super quick. Um, we can hide the tasks here, to make that go away from temporarily. And all of the data just loads really, really quick. If I wanted to do something to this virtual machine called SquarePants, I can click Actions, and it just builds instantly all the power options. You can see that the shutdown guest kind of flashed really quickly. So I think it just defaults to everything showing in the menu and then things go away if they're not necessary. So all of the little areas build super quick. I find myself being able to toggle back and forth between objects very quickly like you could with a thick client, which alleviates the need to kind of toggle between a web and thick client during day-to-day -day activities. And then if you need to go back to kind of the home screen, you can hover over this, go all the way home, or change to administration, something like that. In fact, I'll show you one of my other favorite parts under admin and system config. We can pull open all the services that are running in this environment and see the health of them and start them up or stop them, reboot them. You know, if I wanted the dump collector to change from manual to automatic, I could do that right from here. I don't have to go into the server itself and do that, which is kind of nice. And if you had multiple vCenter servers here, you'd see different node IDs, so we can change the node to specifically this vCenter server and look at the summary of that object. But you can see everything's nice and peppy. I'm not really feeling the pain like I was in vSphere 5.5. Don't miss out on my future videos. Become a YouTube subscriber today. Do you crave more content on home labs, technical certifications, deep dives, product reviews, and geeky shenanigans? Wall Network is also available in blog format at wallnetwork.com.